I'm James Heimbach, the product manager for the testing team uh, in the Verify stage at GitLab. And on my screen, I'm sharing the YouTube video, the speed run uh, that I uploaded about a year ago, showing off the code quality uh, feature. Uh, so I wanted to provide an update to this about a year later, almost 15 months later, uh, of some of the things we've worked on in the time since. Um, so as I was going through and rewatching this today, I noticed that uh, I called out, you could download that full report. Well, not only can you download the full report, but if you're a premium or an ultimate customer, you also have access to the full report in the UI. Uh, so on your pipeline tab, you can see a code quality tab here, and it lists all of the things that were found as part of the pipeline run. So this is not just what has changed in the merge request, but the full list, everything that was discovered. Uh, it includes severity now, so you can understand uh, really what is the things that what are the things that we should work on first. Uh, and in my example, I only have a couple. This is just a quick update to the Hello World uh, from the original video. But if you're working in a project like GitLab where maybe you have a lot of code quality issues the team hasn't dug into for a while, many of those are probably a low severity, uh, but you might miss some of the little ones. Uh, in this example, we see there's three or four critical issues that we should probably take a look at but they're in a list of 10,000. So before sorting these by severity, you would have been paging through 400 something pages to try to find these. And that's just not a great experience for anybody. So these are now sorted by the severity. The worst things are on top. And you can always customize through your codeclimate.yaml, uh, adding engines, removing engines, adding plugins uh, to better tweak what you see in those results. So in the merge request itself, you're still gonna see uh, what is going on here. Again, sorted has the severity there. You can click in and get to the file. Uh, and I wanted to show off a new feature that is coming uh, in the MR diff. Uh, so it's not enabled on this project, but we do have it enabled on the uh, GitLab project today. Uh, and that is in the MR diff, it'll show you which of those files is called out where the code code quality, if there's been a new violation, something has changed in this file specifically as part of this merge request. Uh, and so this is the first step for us. This is our minimum viable change. Uh, our next step here is to actually get that annotation in line. So not just this file has a problem and going back and forth between uh, and looking at the widget or keeping things open in two windows because that's the experience we want to avoid, but actually showing in line the annotation of, hey, where's the problem here? Uh, very similar to what we've added with, is there test coverage for this or not? Uh, you'll get something very similar of, what is the code quality violation here? Showing the highest severity thing first. Uh, so yeah, just a couple of quick updates, uh, things that I wanted to show off since I posted that original video. So I'll link uh, this video into that video with the update. Uh, so hopefully everyone who's watching it uh, can see how far we've gone in the last 15 months. Thanks.